better understand what's going on in a crop field, it can be necessary to inspect individual plants from a very close range in order to be able to detect anomalies such as diseases or nutrient deficiencies. For this, farmers usually walk into the field, select the plant of interest and perform the close-up inspection. And in this project, we now want to automate this procedure, so an unmanned aerial vehicle identifies potentially interesting spots on the field, sends the corresponding coordinate to a ground robot, which then drives to the location and performs a close-up inspection of the plant of interest. In order to do this, we need to combine research from different research areas, in this case agriculture, robotics and geodesy. So the first step is to identify interesting spots in the fields. For this we use UAVs who fly over the field and capture it and automatically detect potential diseases, weeds or other problematic areas. Because the UAV is equipped with very precise GPS receivers, each plant has its own coordinate and we can then send the coordinate of the plant of interest to the robot on the ground. For the navigation of our robot, we have high precise GPS on board and using this data we can determine the poles of the robot at a high precision. And for the crop scans itself, we have a robot arm on board uh, with five cameras and we can combine these five to a 3D model of, of, the, of plants. So the next step is now to drive autonomously in the field uh, with a robot and therefore we are using the waypoints coming from the UAV images and to create a map of the field so we know where to drive with a robot. All this to together uh, reaches now the autonomous waypoint navigation in the field. Now that the robot is at the right position with the plant of interest exactly in the middle, the arm is automatically controlled to take a number of images from that plant with optimal distances and viewing angles. These images are then processed to very high resolution 3D models where the surfaces are visible in fine details. This model can now be used to inspect the plant to identify potential diseases or estimate the parameters that are of interest for the farmers. The same technology could also be used to observe the same single plant over the whole growing season and this could be used to better understand plant growth and to derive interesting parameters for breeding. It would also be possible to replace the camera by a spraying system to perform very selective and efficient plant level or even leaf level treatment, for example with agrochemicals uh, such as pesticides. And with the demonstrative technologies, farmers might still be required to walk on the field once in a while, but it will be less often. Mm -hmm.